Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. I have purchased recently this 2009 Volkswagen Jetta with only 124,000 miles on odometer. And the previous owner disclosed in the ad that there is a engine oil leak present which he had no time to diagnose yet. When we looked together in the engine bay underneath the hood we couldn't really see any engine oil leak from here. But after I purchased the vehicle and brought her here in the shop I saw on my concrete floor when I parked her there will be definitely engine oil on the concrete approximately well at least quarter size maybe two quarters there will be that little little puddle of the engine oil on the floor so let's go together in this video to put her up on the lift we will see how it happens from underneath the vehicle we will discuss that it might look like some other problem and we will at the end clearly name where it's coming from and what needs to be done with it so we are on the lift and i have a better filming situation for that engine bay here there's no sun interference so what you could see without removing anything is there any chance we can see a little of that engine oil leak we are investigating and yes right here i will bring a light and we will be able to see the wetness the shine of the oil so light in the place and even without removing anything i see the shine down there the oil is really reflecting the light and we can see it's all wet there let me try to zoom on it i hope you can see that oil it's basically top of transmission that's a shifter linkage cable i moved that light a little bit forward so we are basically in front of the battery tray and battery cover and look there is oil all over here it's all wet this is again transmission and there is so much of that engine oil leaking that everything is covered by it and it's wet so we are done looking from here let's lift the vehicle up and see what's happening under and from the front of the vehicle this is what we can see so here is engine oil pan with that engine oil filter housing i filmed for you engine oil change on this channel just last week if we jump here this is automatic transmission it is wiped normally right here when i bought a vehicle right on this corner there was dripping that engine oil this was all wet but because i was servicing this transmission it's wiped clean so in your case if you are chasing this oil leak this tranny pan it was all wet and wrapping the oil like right here do you see that the droplet hanging right there do you see this dark droplets hanging right here so for newbies if you are new to it you are learning you basically have two possible fluids here it's either engine oil or it's a transmission fluid now this we can see it's kind of brownish color uh, of the fluid and it's going to just drop off and it's an engine oil despite the fact there is brand new engine oil this is still the remnants of the leak and the oil is not clean and clear and it's kind of dark brown and that tells us clearly that we have engine oil leak and not transmission leak transmission fluid is not light yellow or brown it's actually transparent or slightly pinkish 
or radish. So you will immediately know difference between engine oil leak and transmission fluid leak. This will be red or pinkish and this is kind of brownish. Now there are no other fluids possibly leaking here because this vehicle 09 Jetta is equipped with electric power steering. So there is no possible of power steering fluid presence here. And I already mentioned in the beginning of this video that we will discuss possible incorrect diagnosis of this problem. You already clearly saw that the oil is kind of most present right between the engine and transmission. Right here where the line goes, this is actually exactly spit, split, excuse me, split between the engine and transmission. So this could be, in some cases, incorrectly diagnosed like a rear main seal from the engine. That will actually cost you a lot of money because to replace that seal, which might be only $20, you have to first move away transmission to create a space for replacement of the seal. So it will be very expensive and it will be actually incorrect diagnosis in this case. And we already got a hint why it cannot be that engine main seal. The hint is that when we look from above, we saw the oil, engine oil, already on top of the transmission and slowly coming down, floating down. And because of that, it cannot be a rear main seal and it's actually part which we will look at right now. In order to show that leak better, I will remove that entire engine cover, which includes the engine air filter. I will use this lockable pliers for this hose clamp. So I will squeeze that and put it on the side right here. And then there are two bolts, which is a Torx T20. I have them loose because I knew I'm coming back here to deal with this video and also perform the repair. So I don't need the ratchet. These are the small bolts. Now I will be able to lift that cover. These covers are known to be difficult to lift. There are four mounts and it's always difficult unless it was maintained. So I made a video about this too. And let's see if I lubricated my mounts enough so today that lifting, that removal will be easy. So you start in the front or I will start. Right, so that's a two right here and then I'm still stuck on two in the back. This hose I'm already helping to it. Air hose, oh yeah, I also lubricated that, so let's see. This is unbelievable, this is unusual that it went so easily. For those who don't want to watch the video, here are the mounts, one, two, three, and four. I will show you the grommets. These are the rubber grommets. And basically all you do for the future, for easy removal, you use the grease on it. I use this one because it's compatible with rubber, so it will not damage it, it will not swell it. So basically synthetic grease and you apply it in those areas where these rubber grommets meet the mounts and then the removal becomes a breeze. In order to show you that leak as perfect as possible, I will go ahead as a next step and remove this air pipe. So first I will disconnect these two small pipes or hoses then I will grab this clamp and remove it out of our way. 
So let's see how easy it will be to do that. It's always easy to say. So I'm getting this available for the other one. So I am resting the clamp here instead of, I call it harmonica, but apparently in English it's accordion part, right? The flexible part, flex hose. Now I have these two. These are squeeze on. Are these on the very end and it's visible where you're supposed to squeeze that bracket and that will allow me very easily actually you saw it how easy it popped off it's also this one had a very easy access so let's see the other one yep i think i carefully will help myself with these pliers so it's a squeeze on two sides and then it should be just pulled down sure enough it immediately went off. Excellent. So this was helpful. The way it was there was helpful in grabbing it. Now again, this locking. They left, somebody left that clamp in the wrong place. So first move it a little bit. Come on, my friend. What are you doing? Okay, lock it, why it will not lock, now it's locked and I can pull it off, here you are, and I will go ahead and use this bungee just for the purpose of showing you the whole thing, this is a plastic pipe, so I will be very carefully pulling on it. And I am finally ready to show you the culprit why we have so much oil. It's drenched down there. I'm not going to remove this main pipe, the coolant hose, because I don't want to make the mess. And this is only diagnostic video. Do you see this part in the center of the screen? That's my friend is additional vacuum pump on this 2.5 liter engine the engineers made a extra vacuum pump normally use the vacuum from intake manifold to have a vacuum for the brake booster well typical german engineering they said hmm why we don't make it even better even more complicated so they added this vacuum pump the vacuum pump itself it's totally fine because i don't have any problems with the brakes and with the supply of vacuum I have perfectly running engine everything's fine but do you see how everything is shiny down there that means it's drenched with the oil the oil is coming down and flowing on top of the engine and in the same time on the transmission i see a puddle of oil right there let's say in the center of the screen right now i zoomed on it slightly and right there that dark brown spots that's basically the oil sitting there yep right there again we will be in the center of the screen well the camera has a hard time but you see it correct you see all that wetness and that's from this part right here in the middle of the screen the dark part with the volkswagen logo it's a vacuum pump and most likely it's behind it it's not from the front cover but it could be i see also oil on it I think it's between the engine block and the body of the pump. This is where the leak is. That's where it normally is. And I have already the kit, the seal set ready today. I will be doing it today. I just split it in two different videos. This is diagnosis. And the other video will be about the repairing the problem. And this oil leak is very common on this 5-cylinder 2.5-liter engine. And that was a 
another reason to film it and share it on this channel. I also didn't hesitate to go ahead and order the parts because most likely it's either the seal on the front of vacuum pump or the one behind. So the parts are ready and I am ready to start taking care of that problem this afternoon. She will be happy, the engine will be not leaking oil anymore and there will be no quarter size oil stains on the floor of this garage. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, if you like it, give it a thumb up and please subscribe. I have way more coming your way soon. See ya!